mental. Uh, and I'm sick and tired of that boy got potential. Slick got only freestyle, cause I broke all my pencils. You got bars. Uh. Oh, it's up in the morning too, yeah. Hello, Victoria Rose here. So today, I wanted to take you um, and do a day in the life of a solo, lonely YouTuber. Traveler. Traveler, <laughs> because I'm not. So yesterday I had the great surprise of a friend. Not a friend that would make me not lonely, no. A friend that would make me tired and sad as fuck. Period. So I was kind of out of commission yesterday. I did do a few things. Mainly, I started my personal training certificate. <laughs> yeah. Today I want to take you through a day of actually doing something. Even though I feel like crap. My hair looks ridiculous. I'm gonna go shower. That's the first thing I'm gonna do in the morning. So good morning. Welcome to today's first vlog in Vietnam. That wasn't the first vlog, is it? No, it's not the second or third. I don't know. And let's start this day. So I got this fruit, I think it'll be my breakfast. I have no idea what it is, so let's figure it out. Um, it's a passion fruit. I guess I should do this more aesthetically. I'm really bad with the aesthetics of things. Why don't we have passion fruit in America? <laughs> it's a... It'd be like that though. All right, beautiful. What a, what a beautiful aesthetic morning so far we have here. The next thing I do in the morning is shower. I'm gonna let my tea just sit there to like absorb all the to get all the caffeine in the water. I don't want, I, I take my phone everywhere. I don't even know why, like if I'm gonna be like in the shower using it, no, okay. I'll show you the products that I use, okay? So I brought these with me from America. Use this organic now stuff, it's like body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. And then I use this, <laughs> thank you. It's a facial cleanser, it's Australian wild plum and willow. I always put this lotion on afterwards. Once I run out of it, I'm going to use some other type of lotion because you got to be adaptable whenever you're traveling. Aloe vera gel, I take it in the morning. Hello. So I'm showered. I put on some makeup. Um, now let's discuss today's... Oh, I washed my hair. The reason that I washed my hair is because it is actually relatively sunny out today. So... I feel like this would be the best day for it to dry naturally in the sun since I'm going out. So it would be the best day to wash it because when you have dreadlocks, it's not always good to wash it when there's no um, heat or whatever. I am gonna try to use Grab. It's like Uber, but I don't know if I can use it or not. I ha it said that it wasn't available because I didn't have a Vietnamese number, but now it's working. So I'm gonna try to use that, either a motorbike ride on the back of someone's motorbike <laughs> or in an actual car. That's what I'm gonna to try to do, and I'm gonna to go to Bay Chai Beach, which is not too far from where I'm at. So I'm gonna um, see what that's all about. It's a close place that I can still go to that is relatively cool, I guess. Hi, hello there. All right, let's finish getting ready. Ah! I did 
did a little bit of a handstand practice, which I try to do every day. And now my full breakfast is going to be some of these cool combers, which were extremely cheap, and then some dried mango. You know, I gave this a, I gave this a shot, but I just hate I hate crunching seeds. But I'll try it again. Math man is taking a fucking long time to get here. And I am now at Bay Chai Beach. Um, it's very empty. It's a beautiful day. This must be uh, like an amusement park. But I feel like this whole entire time I've been in like this apocalyptic type of a place because there's nobody here. Like there's nobody anywhere. It is kind of scary because it's like it'd be nice if there was people around. What? <laughs> so, assuming the beach is up here. Hello! 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 Gosh, yes, I see like, I see foreigners. <laughs> I'm not in apocalypse anymore. So Bay Chai is a, not a natural beach. It's a, a man-made beach. So it's still under construction right now. Hi. So it's white sand, but it's all like imported into here. It is hot. I haven't, I haven't been in the sun like for a while. This is like a beach apocalypse right now. Yay, this isn't, this isn't much of a beach. This is weird. Where am I? It's more of like a puddle. I feel like I could go lay with those ladies over by the bulldozer. I'm gonna try to find my own spot. A little a little patch of sand by the by the puddle. This is gonna be a really pretty once it's all done. I don't know, I'm enjoying it anyways. I mean, that's the whole thing about traveling is that sometimes you just don't know what to expect. Like you can plan all day long, but I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't even plan, so. Uh, so that's Bay Chai Bridge over there. Can't really see it. It's like this huge, like, truck, construction truck. It's like running right beside me. He's like, hi, hi. I'm like, hey. Oh, it looks like we stumbled across another touristy thingy. Hi, hi. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. This place is really cool. I highly recommend it. Everyone keeps asking for pictures with me. It's funny. Um, it looks like there's a, there's a hostel backpacking pub over there. I wonder if anybody's in there. I saw an octopus in a bucket over there. I'm really sad about it. No. Huh? No. Yes. Came home. I am going to go to the gym now. The last time I went to the gym, the first time I went to the gym, 
was working out, or starting to work out, took my pre-workout, and the security guard came in and put these paper things, and he's like, tells me I have to pay 200 dongs <laughs> to work out. And I couldn't understand him at first, but he's like a translation app. But yeah, so I'm gonna go work out now. These bitches think I'm stupid. I ain't stupid. Okay, headphones broke. I don't know how I'm gonna get new ones. I'm very particular about my headphones and I'm very sad. <laughs> Jim is janky AF though. All the machines are like wobbly and breaking. <laughs> but I'm really grateful because like any gym's a good gym for me. Uh, especially while traveling, it's hard to find. So. I, I don't have to cover my tattoos. Yes. You get so much like sweatier when it's a more humid climate, but so I worked out, now I'm gonna go and make some food, and then I'm gonna end this day in life because after that I'm just going boring, so. I'm back from the gym. Still smells like passion fruit in here. Um, I've been eating kind of the same thing every day. I've been only eating one meal a day, but I just haven't really been that hungry. I think when I'm in a more humid climate, when I'm hotter, I just don't feel like eating quite as much. Someone send me protein, please, now. <laughs> Sorry, it's good. Oh, fuck, fuck, that's hot, why? Why is my life like this? Okay, so as you guys know, I got these cans of gross, gross bean thingies, but I didn't want to waste food. So what I'm doing with them is I'm putting them in here. And what that does is it boils off all the gross, whatever it was cooked in, and it just makes a very neutral kind of bean, which has a little protein in there. So I got this tofu, which is really um, dense tofu, which is smells a lot like tofu. But then I, yesterday I got like some soft tofu that's easier to eat just because I'm a little wuss and can't take my soy no more. But really, I, I can't wait to get um, some protein to where I don't have to eat soy as much anymore because it's not good for you and I don't like it. But for now, this is what we got. Throw it in there just so like whenever I boil stuff, it gets rid of some, some uh, <sighs> it gets rid of like a bad taste. I'm like a baby. I'm literally a baby. I also put in some of these vegetables. I can't eat the other frozen peas I got because they don't taste like peas. Then I just put in two sprigs of rice noodles. So two of these. And that's kind of my big meal for the day. I just eat like once a day as I said. And then I snack on like dried fruit and nuts and cucumbers the rest of the day, which I don't think is bad. Obviously like I go through stages of eating a lot and a little and I'm okay with it. And I think for me, eating less just makes me feel better. I'm also going to add an egg because I have eggs. So I just don't like food very much. It just grosses me out, I don't know. Very particular, but I can't be a little bitch. So, you guys tell me, so it's Victoria, stop being a little bitch. You gotta adapt and survive out here. You guys asked how motivated to do all this? I'm not, I'm not motivated. I just form habits and then I do them. And that's the way it be. That's the way it be. the most aesthetic thing in the world, but it works. I'm gonna try this passion fruit tea, which I don't have any tea without caffeine in it, so this might work. The next part of my day, or the rest of my day, is gonna be pretty boring. I'm going to edit an Instagram picture to upload at like one or two in the morning, because my audience out there is mostly from the US or from like the UK area, so it's just the best time for me to upload, so I kind of have to stick to that schedule. But also, I am starting my personal training um, certificate program right now. So, and I hope you guys are proud of me. Eventually, after I think like 10 weeks, I take like the final exam and get certified. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna edit and do this for the rest of the night and then go to bed, hopefully at a reasonable time. I've been trying to go to bed earlier, but I hope you enjoyed a day in my life. Um, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. You know, I wanna keep doing YouTube. I wanna keep um, making content for you guys. And it just encourages me whenever I know that there's people out there that I'm encouraging and it inspires me to inspire you. I am a, a, like an introvert and a shy person, but the way that I look is very bold. So it makes a lot of people stare and wanna approach me, which gives me anxiety sometimes going out or like doing things whenever I don't know the area or the language or anything like that. But if you really force yourself and put yourself in a mindset to where it's like, this really doesn't matter. Get the most out of life because life is super, super, super short. I hope your day was good and thank you for coming along with me on mine. It, it makes me so happy to have you guys with me, especially since I'm alone right now. To be continued.
Okay, bye guys, love you very much. Thanks for trust, real.